In this video, I will illustrate the installation of GoPro Labs firmware for the GoPro Hero 7, 8, 9, and the GoPro Max cameras. This firmware will allow you to customize your GoPro camera settings through the use of QR codes. Make sure to stay to the end of the video where I will show you how to create a customized QR code that will display owner's information on your GoPro camera every time you power it on. To install the GoPro Labs firmware on your GoPro Hero 7, 8, 9, or Max cameras, you'll need to go to community.gopro.com, select GoPro Labs, select Get Started, select the link to the specific firmware file for the camera that you'll be updating. In this case, I'm going to update the Hero 9 Black. Select Save. Then while the file is downloading, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and remove the memory card from your GoPro camera. and then insert it into your computer via a memory card to USB adapter. Once the file is downloaded, open the file and copy the update folder, the entire update folder and its contents. Scroll to your memory card and then paste the contents of the file and wait for the file to transfer. Once the file is transferred to your GoPro, go ahead and eject the memory card and then insert the memory card into your GoPro camera. Turn the GoPro camera on. and then this icon will appear which represents the firmware is being installed on your GoPro camera. Next it will display GoPro Labs beta firmware participation terms apply and then it will indicate update complete. And then your GoPro camera will turn back on display GoPro Labs beta firmware indication and at that point the installation is complete. Now that you've installed the GoPro Labs firmware onto your camera, back on the download page, there's a link under step three of how to install GoPro Labs firmware. In this step three, the link says these instructions. You'll want to select that. On this page, you'll find information about the different functions that you can add to your camera through the use of QR codes. For example, one of the first ones that I would suggest you add to your camera is owner's information. Under contents and step one, or section one, there's a link here for owner's information. Now if we scroll slightly up after following that link, here's another link to owner's information. Isn't that confusing and delightful? This one will take us to a different website. Now we're on gopro.github.io. So you'd want to go ahead and type in line one, your name. In line two, contact information, such as an email address or a phone number. In line three, you can put a message. And that's it. Now at this point, you just go ahead and pick up your GoPro camera and then point it at this QR code. And then it will add this functionality to your camera. Once you see a box with a check mark, that means the QR code was accepted and processed. Now every time the camera is turned back on again, that text will appear on the screen momentarily so the hope is that if somebody finds your camera, that they'll do the right thing and return it to you using the contact information that you provided. Here are a couple locations where you can create customized QR codes to control your GoPro. One is at gopro.github.io slash labs slash control. I'll put a link in the description below. And the other is in your app store. Uh, this is Google Play App Store. The app is called QR Control. If you found this video helpful or informative, consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my other GoPro-related videos on my channel, and also consider subscribing. See you in the next video.